Hey, it's Chris, and today I've got a super different video for you that I would not make unless I was super freaking excited about it, and I'm super freaking excited about it. Let's put it this way. What if you could watch crystal clear 4K HDR content on a 300 inch screen? Not 65 inches, not 75 inches, not 88 inches, 300 inches. So if USonic was cool enough to wanna to sponsor the channel, support the channel by sending over this projector, and I'm gonna be honest with you, my very first reaction was, I don't know, projector. All my interactions with projectors in the past, almost all, have been lame, and so I wasn't sure. But this projector definitely, absolutely, positively, a million percent, changed what I thought about projectors. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you what happened the first time I turned it on, something interesting. I'm gonna talk about how it works in daylight, gonna talk about the picture quality, obviously, gonna talk about how dark the darks are, how light the lights are, the built-in speaker, the remote, and lots more. So before I even get into the specs, let me tell you what happened the very first time that I turned this on. So set it up, which took about five minutes, by the way, plugged it in, plugged in the Apple TV, adjusted it, got things in focus, loaded up some 4K HDR content, and I literally just about lost it. I was literally stunned by the picture quality that I saw in front of my eyeballs. Now, I would say that on a daily basis, I'm always running into some really cool tech products. I'm unboxing stuff, I'm checking stuff out, I'm testing, I'm reviewing, and in all that time, it's very rare for me to actually go get my family and show them what I'm working on because I'm so amazed with something. But that's exactly what happened. I went and got my family and I made them come look at what I was doing because I was stunned. Okay, with that other way, let me clue you into the specs. This is a 4K HDR projector with 3,500 lumens of brightness, so you're getting 8.3 million pixels of awesomeness hitting your eyeballs. There's two HDMI ports for connectivity, which means you can connect something like the Apple TV and an Xbox, or even throw your computer screen up on the wall if you want to. So I haven't even been using this on a projector screen, which is a good idea if you can do that. I've just been projecting it onto this plain white paper background behind me, and it's been pretty stunning. I've said that a lot because it's true. The 4K is incredible. It seems as sharp and as detailed as any TV I've tried. And you guys know all the different models that I've had here in the studio. The HDR is so nice too. It's what you'd hope for in HDR. It really pops. And again, I was surprised. Seriously, I thought the projectors were either number one, incapable of this kind of quality or number two, too expensive to enjoy with this kind of quality. So after I turned it on, my very next action was to test how this worked with ambient light or daylight pouring in from the windows because in my experience, that's where most projectors tend to fall apart. For a projector though, this thing is bright. Like 2000 lumens is fairly bright, but this is 3500. So for a projector, this is really high quality. So here's a shot of what this looks like with the lights on in the room and some extra lighting coming from the side, just so you can get an idea of what it looks like with some other light sources. So how black are the blacks? I'm gonna let you judge that for yourself too by checking out this sample footage. I'm pretty impressed though. Now seriously, it's hard to portray what I'm actually seeing in real life just with the camera. I know it's not gonna translate perfectly, but I really wanna know what you think based on what you've seen, so leave me a comment. I also found the picture to be distortion free, so I'm not a projector snob or anything like that, but there's no screen door effect or anything nasty, so that was a big bonus. There is a basic speaker, which is cool, comes in handy in a pinch, but if you're buying a projector for your home theater system, then yeah, you're gonna hook that up anyways, so you're not gonna use it. But if you had to for some reason, I mean, you could, but it's not as good as a home theater. You know what I'm saying. I would call the remote a functional remote rather than a designer remote, but it's cool. It's got backlit keys. It's not confusing. It's simple and easy to use. Also simple was the keystone adjustment and the legs on the bottom adjust just like you'd expect to help you level things out. The design and build quality of this thing is also nice. It feels high quality and I'm really glad that it's white. You guys know, I like my Stormtrooper colors. So price versus performance. Now obviously, you know that I think the performance is really great on here. If you don't know that, then something's wrong with you or I'm not doing a good job expressing. But it's crazy to me that you can get effectively 300 inches of 4K HDR goodness for this price. I mean, you're not getting that with the TV at whatever the price. So yeah, I just wanted to share this because, wow, it was awesome, number one. Number two, just kind of mix it up, do something a little bit different on the channel so you guys don't get too bored. I don't know, what do you think? Should we do a giveaway? Uh, no, because I like it too much and I'm gonna hang on to it. Don't forget, I'm at Daily Tech, spelled Daily T-E-K-K -K, on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.